surprise. Good thing the brakes are amazing on this car. What is up, everyone? My name is Adrian with R35 Life. Today we've got the Lexus ISF behind us. Uh, that is Lexus's flagship V8 at the time, and we are lucky enough for uh, my buddy Edgar to actually let me borrow it. So we're gonna take it around Santiago Canyon in Southern California right now. We're gonna test it a little bit. We even broke the drone out, so hopefully we get some cool footage and at least uh, kind of see how the car acts versus the V6 GTR. Um, and then I'll tell you a little bit about it while we're in it. So let's go ahead and hop in and see how this car handles. Okay guys, so let's check out the startup. I'm sure this is gonna be really different. Let's see. Oh my God, that growl. So again, this thing is a V8. I mean, honestly, it sounds a lot better uh, than I thought it was going to. We got the, the tachometer right in the middle, exactly where it should be on the newer model uh, IS. I believe this is a 2012. Uh, so it's got the updated headlights uh, and then obviously a little bit of a newer interior. The first thing I think I noticed about this car, is honestly uh, the luxuriousness of it. I mean, I feel like the materials used on the interior is a little bit better uh, than on the GTR because it's not as like plasticky, cheapy, China feel. Whereas, uh, you know, obviously a Nissan is not exactly the most luxurious thing in the world to drive. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing going. All right, let's go. So we put it into uh, manual mode here. So we can actually use the shifters. Now, I've heard a lot of people say that the eight speed transmission in these cars isn't the best thing in the world. So let's test that out right now. As soon as we get into this Canyon Road, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start going up and you know, put this thing in sport and see exactly uh, what it can do. Yeah, I would hope so. <laughs> Got the uh, sport button right on the steering wheel, which is pretty cool. So let's click that. I think it gives me a better steering response as well as throttle response, which is actually pretty, uh, pretty instant feel, which is nice. So, wow, this thing is actually really smooth. So this particular uh, IS is lowered on power trick suspension. Uh, I actually thought it was gonna be extremely like bumpy and really, uh, you know, just shaking everywhere, but it's actually really smooth, so it still kind of feels like a Lexus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so first thing, V8 Torquey. This thing has just a little bit over 4 100 horsepower uh, and just a little bit under that on torque. So extremely jumpy. Uh, don't want to kick the back end out quite yet <laughs> on this. This is a little bit of a tight, uh, windy road that we're doing here and it's getting a little dark. So uh, let's stay safe. Now, it also has a Joe Z catback exhaust on it. So it definitely sounds a little bit better uh, than stock. I really hope I can get that. If not, we'll go out and do some revving on it after. Uh, but it's really deep. It's not like that raspy, high revving V8 uh, that you see on a Challenger screaming down the street. It's like a growl. It's like a deep growl constantly, which is actually really cool. So let's take this turn right here. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> the thing is like really easy to get really fun. It goes pretty quick. I actually got the GTR behind me. Uh, so this is uh, pretty fun. There's a little bit of a chase uh, going on here. I'm not even sure if you guys can see that. Uh, but uh, this is pretty, pretty cool canyon uh, without being too crazy. So aside from a uh, various carbon fiber kit that it has on the outside, the really cool thing is 
it looks like a sleeper. It's an IS, so think about that for a second. You see IS every single day uh, on the road. I mean, everybody in their mother has them. So to the untrained eye, this car actually looks like a very normal four-cylinder, whatever Lexus. Obviously to us car enthusiasts, we are well aware that that is not the case. Oh, we're coming to a, to a slow zone here. Let's, let's calm down for a second. Uh, which actually helps this car be one of the ultimate sleepers. Uh, so you really don't know what's next to you unless you're a car enthusiast. Other than that, I mean, it's really low profile, which is also good with all these new laws coming into place. And every single performance car just seems to be uh, targeted right now, which is not exactly the best thing in the world to be driving. Yeah, with this thing in manual mode, I really don't see what the complaint was from everybody on the 8-speed transmission. I mean, I'm not actually even going over fifth gear. I'm kind of just toggling between third and fifth. Um, if you hear a little bit of scraping, I mean, this, like I said, this thing is extremely low, but it handles like an absolute monster. I kind of thought it was going to be boaty, to be honest. I mean, it's, it's big and it's wide on the outside. You got the big bulging hood that houses the uh, 415 horsepower V8. You got wide fenders on the sides as well. I also think that the forged wheels that the 2012 comes with are a little bit wider than the years prior. Uh, so definitely gives it that aggressive stance. And then what's really cool is this thing really goes incognito. So I'm going to upshift here to like sixth. I still have two gears to go and it's already silent. Can't hear a thing, which is kind of amazing. So one thing that I thought that I was not going to like about this car is the fact that, I mean, being that it is a luxury car, being that it is a Lexus, it's not supposed to exactly like throw you back in your seat. Uh, it's not supposed to be jerky and torquey and stuff like that, but it's a really nice change. This thing is so smooth. All 400 horses just get uh, pushed to the rear wheels like without any issues. Uh, so this thing is actually really, really cool. Ooh. Crap, I even got a little bit of a couple of pops back there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So this car was really Lexus's response uh, to the BMW M3 and the Mercedes C63 AMG. Now, it keeps up pretty well on paper, but uh, people who have actually driven it say this car is really an underdog. I mean, you hear bad things about handling, you hear bad things about the transmission, and honestly, I don't think very many people have gotten a chance to drive this thing. I mean, everybody has an M3. This is like the rare Lexus from hell, a uh, predecessor to the RCF and the GSF. Uh, Lexus still rocking that V8 strong, so definitely uh, they know what they're doing. Now we're actually chasing the GTR. Uh, and then the sound, I keep getting a little bit of crackle on these downshifts, it's amazing. I don't know if you guys can really hear that but it's a constant growl. This thing is just non-stop deep, which is nice because a lot of these cars with exhausts, I mean, you get the raspy sound, the high pitch, uh, which is, is cool for a little bit, but it's this is a very, very nice change. It's like tame until you unleash it, and then it's a whole different beast. Keep getting that traction control light, but I guess that means I'm driving the car right. It's all fun racing through this city. I mean, those poor people just uh, listening to our shenanigans. They probably moved up here to get away from all the city noise and here we are bothering them. We've got like this white, almost carbon fiber material here in the middle, which is really cool. And then on the door jams, 
Uh, we also have some like white carbon fiber. Uh, and honestly, that's pretty badass. I'm digging it. Uh, so we've got the pearl white on the outside. We've got the red interior on the inside, which is probably the perfect color combination. And uh, overall, I mean, this car is extremely solid. Let's do a little bit of a pull here. We're gonna let them get away. Let's see what this thing really sounds like. Oh, it's a really good thing the brakes are amazing on this car. Uh, yeah, it, it, it stops on a dime. I know he just upgraded the brake pads as well. Uh, so it's really, really grabbing onto those rotors and it's not having an issue at all. When you think about when this car was released, it was released as a $65,000 V8 Lexus. I mean, you gotta think about that for a second. You can pick one of these up now on the pre-owned market, depending on how clean it is, anywhere between 30 to 40 grand, uh, which means you can afford to purchase a vehicle with over 400 horsepower, uh, reasonably priced, and much a sleeper. I mean, you can't even tell that this thing, I mean, uh, most of us can. If you're watching this video, I'm sure you know what this car is, but a lot of people can't even tell uh, what this car really is and what it's supposed to be. So that's really awesome. It's quite literally a sleeper. It's really weird seeing someone else drive your car and also really cool. Overall thoughts on the 2012 Lexus ISF. I really like it. Uh, I mean, you just see way too many uh, BMW, German, Mercedes car purists that really, really down talk the ISF in terms of performance. And I mean, this thing is, it really kicks you in the butt in the back once you downshift and get on it. fun on this thing. Throttle response is nice. Um, the transmission, yeah, I could do without the 8-speed, sure, but overall it's not bad, especially in spirited driving. Like I said, you're never even going over fifth anyway, uh, so who really cares? Exhaust sounds really nice. Interior is beautiful. Exterior is really nice. Uh, it's aggressive when you know what you're looking at, honestly. Uh, and then if you don't, I mean, you can pretty much be incognito. It's like really sleeper status. Uh, so that's really nice. Uh, and again, just over 400 horsepower being transferred to the rear wheels at all times. It's actually really, really nice. Okay guys, so I think that is going to effectively end today's vlog. It's getting way too dark, so uh, we're actually gonna start heading back. Uh, summary, the ISF is awesome. Definitely check them out uh, if you're looking for a fun V8 that can also be a little bit sneaky and uh, you know not be so out there. But I appreciate you watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.